So my family and I experienced the 2003 Okanagan Mountain Park firestorm in the interior of British Columbia. Uh, a firestorm that caused over 30,000 evacuations, burned over 200 homes, uh, that was ultimately started by a lightning strike on a single tree that someone reported around 4 o'clock in the morning and no one was able to get to until several hours after sunrise when the winds had picked up and by that time it was too late. The army was called in and it became a war zone. And so ever since then, I have been waiting for the moment to build the technology that could stop the fire when it was a single tree. And that is the world that we live in today. So we build the software that enables autonomous aircraft to perceive, understand, and suppress wildfire ignitions before they grow out of control. The whole purpose of autonomy is to pre-position these firefighting aircraft in high wildfire risk areas so that their response time is measured in two, three, and four minutes, not half an hour, not two hours. That is the game changer, getting to the fire before it grows out of control. So autonomy enables pre-positioning and scale. I mean, Getting to fires early is not a controversial idea. You know, fire agencies have been reducing response time for decades. You know, the standard in the 1990s was, okay, somewhere between one and six hours. The standard in the last decade was, okay, I mean, 20 minutes is the new golden standard. That's not enough anymore. With climate change, with uh, record-breaking year after year temperatures, we now have to get to fires in less than 10 minutes, in most cases, to stop them before they grow out of control. And so, I mean, there's, that requires a fleet of pre-positioned autonomous aircraft that can respond in minutes to these ignitions. Fire agencies are our, our customers, local, state, and federal fire agencies. Uh, of course, there are uh, significant interest in utilities and insurance to uh, solve the wildfire issue. Um, you know, there's tens of billions of dollars in liabilities that electric companies have racked up because of their role in starting these ignitions. And so now, with wildfire mission autonomy enabling autonomous aircraft to join the firefight, it's possible to scale that response and take a region and say, okay, I want to reduce wildfire risk in this region by 75%. What do I need to do? Well, you're probably going to need a few dozen autonomous aircraft. And where should they go? Okay, well that's based on wildfire risk. Where there's greater wildfire risk, the network is denser, you know, closer together. Where there's less wildfire risk, you know, the aircraft are spread farther apart. Our software is focused on perceiving, understanding, and developing suppression plans for these aircraft.